Hello everybody, as we now have part 3 of Hive Swap, this, I don't even know what you call it, this marathon or whatever I'm doing. I don't know if the microphone's actually working or not, I sincerely hope that it is, because otherwise the series is going to be pretty awkward. So, last time, you know, we finally made it to the place and it, we found out <laughs> there's no electricity, there's... Apparently some kind of weird tentacle thing monster that is just sitting there. So now we're just going to venture out and check out what's going on here. Let's see. Sign you've heard since you entered the kitchen and grows louder as you approach. The awful stack is like nothing you've ever heard. And you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. You turn the radio off. Your babysitter has just really atrocious taste. You're only 14, and you can uh, and you can tell this is just really crummy. Oh, we have a babysitter with a drinking problem. Uh, <laughs> babysitter with drinking problems. Black-haired children w with you know a, a a father who hunts. Oh boy, you really don't want to go out there right now. Tempting though it is it is to go. Tempting though it is to go rake more leaves. Ah, the struggle of the monster bothered leaf pile enthusiast. You keep meaning to start a zine. Okay, whatever. Look, you're not saying you never have home cooked meals. Your baby's hair is a pretty good chef, even. It's just, well, no, none of you like doing dishes. And the nice thing about takeout is you can just eat it right out of the boxes and then throw the box away. Of course, none of you really like it taking out the trash either. It's called Priorities, girl. Very clean. No way, no way. You did them last time. It's Jude's turn now. You know what? After he completely ditched you for the treehouse earlier, maybe it could be Jude's turn for some quiet time. Okay. Girl, you better take some priorities. That's what that, that's, that's what needs to be in response. But I'm outside there, you think you'll leave it shut. Also, you don't actually not open this window, short of breaking it. Girl, you need to go out and take some priorities. Okay, let's just snap. It's empty. Food shopping has become sporadic of late. Turns out tipsy babysitters are fairly bad at responsibilities. The power is off, and as such, your fax machine is basically useless. This is an unacceptable state of affairs. Okay. I've wasted practically three minutes just looking, just like looking around and reading a bunch of stuff. All right. <coughs> Let's see what you're. Okay. Three years ago, this happened. I've swapped for some hella trifling people. Okay. Oh, what's this? Any hot tips of getting the power back on? Power out seems to grant very significant advantage over. That's not really a tip. There's That's more like just explaining for why I'm trying to, to do it. Not sure what to tell you. Circuit breaker probably in basement over. See, that was very helpful. Thanks. Doing my best over and out. Okay, let's get to this. Let's get to this basement then. Girl, why are you walking? Unless the basement's down there. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so let's try and find out where this basement is. Is this the basement? I think this is the basement. No, wait, fuck. Wait a minute.
Aha! Uh. Okay, yeah. Pharaoh, Pharaoh Napoleon. Okay, so I gotta figure out where these batteries are then. Okay. If I were a messy ass nigga, where would I Where would I place batteries? Let's see. Let's see. All right, wait a minute. This might do it. Pop open the Isa Isa Barry's Randy Old Sodex. Okay, hold on. Would this work? Okay, so apparently I'm just kind of just scavenge through electronic sources. Okay, 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 okay. What would require batteries in this case? Uh, my best guess is going to be that the batteries are somewhere in the kitchen because you know They wouldn't have shown it for nothing <laughs> I'm going to guess that the batteries are somewhere in the radio Okay Let's see, open the battery compartment. Are they are they D batteries? Yes, jackpot D cells. You can never have too many batteries and never in too many different sizes either. Okay. Thank you. So now Okay, another electric device successfully powered through clever manipulation of resources in your immediate environment. You are on fire. When your flashlight fully functional and fit and in fit fine form, you can feel significantly better equipped to handle most low light environments, and also to beat the bejeebus out of any of these creeps that gets you close. Although that's a last resort, of course. Oh yeah, because animals. Would you really consider these things as animals, though? I don't know. But finally, okay. Okay. Here we go. Pa loves his blue lady's portrait so much he keeps her done in backups scattered around because it's okay if you ignore something supposedly precious to you as long as you're paying attention to something kind of similar in our location, right? Decide not to pull on that psychological thread because you have important work to do, and who needs that crappy old blowhard anyways? Wow. Queen of daddy issues. Your pa brought this. I'm just there. <laughs> There's nobody inside of it. It's kind of like a metaphor, you guess. And you're not sure if you want to start down the road of analyzing your life as if it were a work of fiction.
This girl has so much father issues. With your posture and your affinity towards the Betty Crocker brand, ah. Uh, Ever apparent, this musty old junk man consists of all sorts of cooking implements, ranging from the familiar to the enigmatic. Really, now you can tell what a what a whisk is for, but some of this stuff looks downright unethical. It's uh, it's also in your way. You can't reach the circuit breaker. Okay, so. Your babysitter sends Oscar Jackson to your boss special, boss special reserve, and she tends to do it down here so you and Jude don't see. You aren't really sure what to say about it, or if you have any business saying anything about it at all. Okay, you try to move the box and the whole pile is liable to come tumbling down you need to find a way to get them all moving at once, shake them up somehow. Okay, yeah. The world's just not ready yet. Okay. No dice. Maybe the, maybe the these made these as box pods and I'm precarious enough to tap dancing into an avalanche. Okay. Maybe it's because you grew up in a house where nobody really cooks. I have no idea what these. Okay. Yeah. So now, how do I move it? Okay. No. Okay, come on. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. It's gotta be downstairs. I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not going back up until I figure out what to do. Cause. Totally I moved, you'll need to step a little livelier to get this unsturdy stack out of the way. Okay then, well then what about this? Okay, so it tumbled on me, which means an animation happened. So, flip the breaker. Flip the breaker and it turns on. Nice. Okay, so far so good. Oh, she's looking a little worried because there's a monster now. Alright. I'ma get one fight in before this before this episode's over with. I'ma get one fight in. Let's go. <laughs> 
Yo, it's time to bust some ass. Come on, 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 come on. We got five minutes, we got five minutes, we got five minutes. Four minutes because I technically need one minute to get an outro going. Let's go, 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 let's go. Strive time, baby, strive time, baby. Yeah, no chance of beating this thing. Yeah, I get away. Step on it. All right, let's go, 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 go, let's go, go, go. Hmm. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, let's try Pogs. Times, oh my gosh. Come on, I got this, got this, got this, got this. Graceful of Scott, are you kidding me? Okay! Well, not a real fight. Hopefully she learns to adapt her father's skills and actually fight something, but okay. Power back on. You're doing, or psyops of enroaching fortress, over. Uh, give you backlight only to snatch it away. Described hypothetical, very cruel. Viewing with sick operation, over. No, it was me. Crimey Jude. That snake monster is down in the basement, by the way. I managed to get past him. We'll need to deal with that at some point. Second encounter with the said serpent, correct? Beast Willy. But sister already established superior willingness attribute over. Hey, thanks. I think. Cherfum should be tri a tri trivial obstacle over. Wait, what? Add it, key, Joey. Eyes on the prize. Keep me in loop over and out. Okay, so now everything's on. Nice. I still have technically two more minutes before I have to begin an outro. So let's do this. <laughs> let's go. Not dealing with anything else. Got one more minute. Just got to head over to the trophy room now. Although I'm going to probably end the video there. I'm probably going to end it just a little early because... In this case, in case there's another strife I have to get myself into, you know, don't want to bother with stuff like that, especially at the fact that, you know, that I just made it through all of this. I'm trying to keep them all 20 minutes each. That seems to be the attention span of uh, many YouTube people. I mean, people who look at YouTube. Besides, I'm not going to make it there anyway, so. Uh. Oh, wait, they said the trophy room. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll do the outro now while I'm walking there. Well, everybody, this is the end of part three? Yeah, the end of part three, I believe. So in this case, with part three now coming to an end in this case, you know, you guys know what to do. Subscribe to me on YouTube, donate to Patreon, you know, check me out on writing.com, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook. And also be sure to check out my Twilight City in the Twilight because, or, oh my god, check out my podcast City in the Twilight because... It's really nice, and I think that you guys would enjoy it. So, either way, this is the Grand Owl signing out. Stay beautiful, everybody.